Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 89 of 2019 to formally sign Bahrain to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia and its various updated protocols dated 2010. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the President of the International Peace Institute IPI, Terry Rod Lawson, where His Majesty noted the vital role of the Institute in preparing research and studies and organizing international events that focus on supporting efforts aimed at achieving world peace. His Majesty hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and IPI aimed at serving security and stability affairs in the region and spreading peace and tolerance. His his Majesty affirmed Bahrain's stance in supporting all endeavors to enhance security and stability and spread the values and principles of peace at the regional and international levels. His Majesty commended the efforts of the President of IPI and his endeavors to maintain peace. For his part, IPI President praised the efforts of the Kingdom, led by His Majesty the King, and its endeavors to serve security and stability causes and its contribution to spreading peace and coexistence. Assistance. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أيها الضيوف الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يركي سعادة البروفيسور بيتالي نعونكي رئيس مجلس أمناء معهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية كلمة أمام جلالتي الخليفة ملك البحرين الموقع السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بالنظر إلى الدور البارز الذي قام به جلالتكم في مجال حوار الحضارات والتعايش السلمي بين الأديان منذ تولي جلالتكم الحكمة في مملكة البحرين عام 1999 وحتى اليوم إن قيام جلالتكم تأسيسي مركز الملك حمد العالمي للتعايش السلمي وتدشين كرسي الملك حمد للحوار بين الأديان والتعايش السلمي في جامعة سايف بينزا الإيطالية هما خطوتان مهمتان من أجل نشر ثقافة التسامح وتعزيز مبدأ التعايش والحوار والتي تعتبر ركيزة أساسية للمجتمعات لمحاربة كل أنواع العنف والتطرف والتمييز والكراهية ونشر رسالة السلام التي ينبغي أن تكون أساسا للعلاقات الدولية وعنصرا هاما للحد من الحروب والصراعات في جميع بقاع العالم وفي مجال العلاقات بين مملكة البحرين وروسيا الاتحادية في مجال الثقافة والعلوم والتكنولوجيا وتكنولوجيا وفي هذا المجال بالذات يثمن ومعهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية تقديرا عاليا السياسة التي تقودها جلالتكم في تعزيز وتطوير هذه العلاقات في مختلف المجالات العلاقات المبنية على الاحترام المتبادل وتحقيق المصالح المشتركة للبلدين وشعبيهما الصديقين ومن أجل هذه المبادرات والإنجازات فقد قرر المجلس العلمي ومجلس الأمناء لمعهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية منح جلالتكم الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين وسام إغناتو سكراشكوفسكي وهما من مؤسس أو المؤسس الأكبر لعلم الاستعراب في روسيا ويعتبر هذا الوسام أعلى تقدير من قبل مؤسستنا الأكاديمية العريقة 
التي تأسست عام 1818 للدور البارز لجلالتكم في نشر قيم السلام والوسطية والاعتدال في العالم ولدوركم الكبير في تعزيز علاقات التعاون بين الدول والشعوب في كل العالم والسلام عليكم Then the Director General presented His Majesty with the Order of Indigenous Krajowski in appreciation of His Majesty's leading role in promoting the values of Islam, moderation and strengthening friendly relations and cooperation between countries and peoples of the world. His Majesty the King welcomed the professor and expressed thanks and appreciation for the medal and praised the status of the institute as one of the most important international research institutions, hailing the achievements it made since its establishment in various political, scientific and cultural fields. His Majesty affirmed the importance of dialogue among civilizations, cultures and religions and promoting communication and peace. He also affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Russia and the advanced level of joint cooperation, especially in the field of cultural exchange and scientific research, which witnesses constant development. His Majesty the King hailed the role of the Russian President Vladimir Putin and his efforts in establishing historic relations between the two countries, wishing Russia further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the President of the International Peace Institute IPI, Terry Rod Larson, where His Majesty noted the vital role of the Institute in preparing research and studies and organizing international events that focus on supporting efforts aimed at achieving world peace. His Majesty hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and IPI aimed at serving security and stability affairs in the region and spreading peace and tolerance. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain stance in supporting all endeavors to enhance security and stability and spread the values and principles of peace at the regional and international levels. His Majesty commended the efforts of the President of IPI and his endeavors to maintain peace. For his part, IPI President praised the efforts of the Kingdom, led by His Majesty the King, and its endeavors to serve security and stability causes and its contributions to spreading peace and coexistence. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized the Conference on Bahraini Women and Future Sciences, which is organized by the Council at the headquarters of Bahrain Polytechnic as one of the accompanying events on Bahraini Women's Day. Her Royal Highness affirmed that the progress of Bahraini women proves that she possesses the knowledge, capacity, and expertise to lead the transformation of the economy into. To a digital one and that Bahraini women promise to take Bahrain to higher levels of competitiveness, innovation and progress. Her Royal Highness said that the Council is committed to supporting royal directives that were pronounced in the opening ceremony of the second round of the fifth legislative term. Her Royal Highness affirmed the importance of preparing strategies to accelerate technological process progress with the goal of not only remaining up to date but also developing the skills of national cadres and and preparing them for the requirements of the labor market. Her Royal Highness trusts that the Council has indeed prepared policies and programs that are intended to monitor and guarantee a balance between the two genders in the field of futuristic sciences. She said that this comes after conducting long-term studies, which act as a reference point and as the yardstick with which the performance and contributions of women can be observed and measured. Her Royal Highness hailed the positive results of the participating projects in the first women's scientific hackathon and expressed admiration for the high calibers of what she has witnessed, which she said represent positive signs of the future of Bahraini women in various fields. Her Royal Highness thanked the efforts of Bahrain Polytechnic in encouraging female talents among its academic and administrative cadres, expressed appreciation for the academic programs that the college offers, which effectively prepares its students for the requirements of the labor market. Her Royal Highness then and honored the top three projects, which were selected from among a total of 12 competing teams as part of the hackathon, which has been carried out in cooperation with Bahrain Polytechnic and Bring Batelco under the slogan Compete and Innovate. 
Her Royal Highness concluded her visit to the college by watering a tree on its premises as a symbol for Her Royal Highness's keen interest in developing agriculture in Bahrain through her many initiatives. Following the activities of the Bahraini Women Day, this forum comes under the theme Bahraini Women and Future Sciences, which aims to shed light on Bahraini women and future sciences fields. The event focuses on technology and the role that uh, the Bahraini woman uh, plays in society. And as um, just by the virtue of the fact that we are living in a technological age, technology is in every aspect of our lives, um, it just becomes natural to uh, to talk about technology. Today, uh, as part of the opening ceremony, awarded the uh, prize winners for the recent uh, hackathon. And of course, as the CEO of Bahrain Polytechnic, I was very proud to see that they were graduates of Bahrain Polytechnic. So they were the winning, uh, winning team. But as far as I'm concerned, all of the teams were winners because they demonstrated such incredible creativity in using this new technology, artificial intelligence, that is going to really change the future. This, this event is very important for uh, everyone not just the Bahraini woman. Uh, the future sciences are our future basically and we need to tackle it head on. Uh, we need to uh, look into it. How do we fit into it? What should we do about it in terms of our education system, our uh, job opportunities, how to even uh, coordinate this with the future industries because if we don't do this now we will miss out and we cannot miss out. The forum also aims to discuss the challenges facing women in this field, highlighting the role of the academic institutions in enhancing women participation in future sciences fields, encourage women to innovate, and introduce them to influential figures who advanced in this field. Uh, first of all, I'm really proud to be part of the first uh, Bahraini Women Hackathon. Our project represents uh, Biatna. It's basically uh, regarding the oil spills that occur in our Arabian Gulf from time to time. And what we're looking to do is that uh, we're trying to reduce the amount of oil spills by, uh, by um, using artificial satellites, uh, using artificial intelligence uh, algorithms to pr predict future data analysis. In a way that we wanted to save the environment so these clutters don't go to landfills, we use them again and again and we like slow down the, pro uh, the route from house to the landfill. Our project is, the idea is to turn food waste into electricity and to me it represents a really new way of, uh, of sustainable development. I feel like if it is implemented it could really help us, especially here in Bahrain. Bahrain allocated this topic as part of Bahraini Women Day in 2019 to celebrate Bahraini women contributions in the education sector and future sciences fields. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. 
The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa toured Baidik, accompanied by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi, and the Chief of Staff Ziyad bin Saqar Al Nuaimi. The Commander-in-Chief hailed the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of Baidik. During the tour, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa viewed the exhibits of the participating countries and companies, and the new and developed systems and military equipment. He also met the President and representatives of global companies participating in the exhibition. The field marshal also listened to a briefing on the latest military industry innovations. The commander-in-chief affirmed that the kingdom's hosting of the second edition of BIDIC proves to the world Bahrain's keenness on enhancing its regional and international partnerships on the defense and military levels to enhance the pillars of peace, security and stability. He added that the importance of BIDIC lies in its being a global platform to exhibit the the latest advanced military productions. The Commander-in-Chief stated that continuing to host BIDIC is in line with its keenness on regional security and its awareness of the importance of strong coalitions. He asserted that the BDF will continue to develop its weapons and will continue to the regional and security pillar to find means of localizing modern techniques. Sheikh Khalifa highlighted that the BDF members will do their best to support BIDIC, making this important international event a success, noting that the wide participation reflects the strength of the strategic relations and alliances between Bahrain and its allies, as well as its keenness to enhance coordination to develop joint action strategies to deal with various challenges and threats. He praised the progress and development of the Gulf industry, which is able to compete with Western and Eastern global industries. The Commander-in-Chief pointed out that the focus of the conference is military technology, which indicates the importance of technical development on national and international security, and reflects the Kingdom's interest in utilizing modern technology to protect its stability, serve sustainable development and diversify sources of national income. He stressed that BIDIC will contribute significantly in the transfer and localize of advanced military technology and the latest in modern technology in the fields of defense and security in order to protect national gains and achievements and support the Kingdom's progress in compliance with the teachings of our Islam and the directives of His Majesty the King. The Commander-in-Chief was accompanied by a number of senior BDF officers. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force at BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, toured the BIDIC 2019 exhibition today at the Bahrain International Exhibitions and Convention Center, along with the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Saqar Al Nuaimi, and senior BDF officers. At the beginning, the Field Marshal hailed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's patronage of BIDIC for land and marine weapons. During his Store, the field marshal explored the various wings of the exhibition and watched the presentations of the latest weapons on display. The field marshal met with the heads of the participating companies and was briefed on the latest developments in the field of modern weapons manufacturing. The field marshal also browsed the Saudi Arabia and UAE wings of the exhibition, which the field marshal said displayed the impressive progress in the respective weapon manufacturing industries and have become globally competitive. The field marshal affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of BIDIC, which welcomes over 61 military and political delegations from around the world from friendly countries, proves its keenness on maintaining its partnership in the region and across the world in the fields of military affairs and defense in the interest of maintaining peace, security and stability regionally and internationally. The field marshal underscored the importance of the exhibition as it represents a global platform to present advanced military technology. He added that BIDIC, which hosts over 200 global manufacturers and exhibition participants, also represents a forum for exchanging opinions and expertise in the military field and for consultation on the latest developments in the region and around the globe. Thank you. 
Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference by 2019 was launched. Commander in Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa inaugurated yesterday the Middle East Military Technology Conference, which was held at the Four Seasons Hotel. The event was attended by the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Chairman of Vita 2019 High Organizing Committee, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Special Forces Commander. Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Prince Fahad bin Jalloui bin Abdul Aziz bin Musaid Al Saud, advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Lieutenant General Abdul Rahman bin Saleh Al Bu'inin, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, International Ministry General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Gulf Corporation Council Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi, Defense Affairs Minister General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaini, Chief of General Staff of the Armed Forces of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Lieutenant General Fayyad bin Hamad Al Rumehi. DDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Saqar Al Nuaimi, Chief of Staff of the UAE Armed Forces Hamad bin Mohammed Thani Al Rumithi. The BDF Commander in Chief expressed pride in His Majesty the King's patronage of the second edition of Vidic. He stated that Vidic was a great success that exceeded expectations, as it's one of the fastest growing exhibitions in the Middle East, the most capable of attracting exhibitors, and offers excellent opportunities to showcase the latest new and innovative defense systems. He said that BIDEC will be an opportunity to support investment in information and digital transformation and military industries, as well as the localization of the latest defense technologies to suit the needs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed expressed pride in the event's exceptional and professional preparations made by BIDEC 2019 High Organizing Committee, led by Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The Commander-in-Chief affirmed that Memtech is one of the largest and most important military intellectual gatherings, during which many issues shall be discussed, including cybersecurity in the light of modern communications revolution and the impact of advances in artificial intelligence on future wars. He welcomed the speakers at the conference sessions and wished them success. After that, His Highness Sheikh Nasser delivered the following speech. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة القائد العام لقوة الدفاع البحرين أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الضيوف الكرام والشركاء العزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني ويسرني أن أرفع أسماء آيات الشكر والعرفان إلى مقام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدة القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه على تفضل جلالته برعايته الكريمة لهذه التظاهرة الدولية الفريدة والمرموقة وإنه لمن دواعي سروري أن أرحب بكم في مملكة البحرين واحة الأمان وموطن التحضر والحوار ويسعدنا في افتتاح هذا الملتقى المتجدد والمتألق مشاركة وحضور نخب بارزة وكفاءة ومتخصصة من صناع القرار والقادة العسكريين والدبلوماسيين والأكاديميين وإذ كان لكل فعالية دولية سمة مميزة فإن معرض ومؤتمر بايدك يأتي في مقدمة المعارض الدولية والملتقيات الفكرية شمولا وتواصلا كما يضفي طابعه الخاص ليمثل شراكة نوعية بين التطور التقني والفكر الاستراتيجي وبات يتمتع بسمعة طيبة ومكانة رائدة لأننا أردنا أن نكون في الصدارة ولله الحمد ونعتز بحصول بايدك على جدارة واستحقاق على جائزة الجمعية الدولية للفعاليات الحية آية الإي اي 
كأفضل معرض في الشرق الأوسط يقام على مساحة تزيد على عشرة آلاف متر مربع وجاء اختيارنا للتكنولوجيا العسكرية كعنوان المؤتمر النسخة الثانية باعتبارها من المجالات الحيوية فقد خلقت الطفرات التكنولوجية واقعا جديدا من الفرص والقدرات كما أفرزت تحديات غير مسبوقة ونستطيع القول أن شكل وحجم النزاعات يتغير بوتيرة متسارعة تبعا لتطورات التكنولوجيا العسكرية وعلى مدى العقود الماضية شهد العالم ظهور أجيال جديدة من الأسلحة والمعدات اعتمادا على الذكاء الاصطناعي والتصنيع المتقدم وعلوم ميكانيكية الكم وغيرها والملاحظ أن طبيعة الصراع الدولي تتحول تدريجياً مع جيوسياسية واقتصادية إلى جيوتكنولوجية وبالتأكيد سوف تكون الحروب الإلكترونية والتكنولوجيات الجديدة العامل الحاسم في حروب المستقبل الحضور الكرام تشهد منطقة الشرق الأوسط اختلال توازن النظام الإقليمي ومرحلة شديدة الاضطراب من مظاهرها الحروب القائمة على الإرهاب والطائفية والإعلام الموجه وتقويض المؤسسات الوطنية والتدخل في الشؤون الدول الداخلية وبنظرة على خارطة أحداث المنطقة يمكن التمايز بين جبهتين إحداهما تضم رعاة الإرهاب والفوضى والخراب بينما الجبهة الأخرى هي تحالف الاعتدال والاستقرار والتنمية والتي تكافح بنجاح لإحباط مشاريع ومخططات الهيمنة والعنف والفتنة وفي هذا المسار وجهت الاعتداءات الإرهابية المدانة على ناقلات النفط المدنية ومعملين نفطيين تابعين لشركة أرامكو بالمملكة العربية السعودية تحذيرا جديدا للمجتمع الدولي بأسره بضرورة مواجهة الإرهاب والدول الراعية له وضمان سلامة الممرات البحرية مؤكدين موقفنا الثابت بالوقوف إلى جانب المملكة الشقيقة ضد كل من يحاول المساس بأمنها أو يهدد استقرارها ودعمها فيما تتخذه من إجراءات لحماية مؤسساتها والدفاع عن مصالحها كما أن مملكة البحرين ستمضي قدما في مساندة كل تحرك ومبادرة من أجل إيجاد بيئة آمنة ومزدهرة في منطقتنا ولعلها فرصة مناسبة أن يسهم معرض مؤتمر بايدك من خلال حلول إبداعية وتقنيات حديثة في تأمين الممرات المائية في الشرق الأوسط وضمان المرور الآمن وحرية الملاحة بما يحقق استقرار أمن الطاقة وازدهار التجارة الدولية الأخوة والأخوات إن انتمائي إلى قوى الدفاع البحرين سيرة حياة وفخر دائم بمؤسسة عصرية رائدة ومتطورة تشكل البنيان والحصن المنيع للدفاع عن سيادة ووحدة الوطن وتمثل قوة سلام واستقرار للأمن الأقليمي بمساهماتها في العديد من المهام العسكرية والإنسانية المشرفة وقدمت تضحيات غالية من شهدائنا الأبرار في ساحات الشرف والبطولة وفي هذا الصدد يسعدني أن أنوه بمزيد من الاعتزاز بالرؤية الحكيمة والسديدة لصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء كما أتقدم بالتحية والتقدير لصاحب المعالي القائد العام الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة لما يبذله من جهود مخلصة كبيرة ولتحقيق أعلى مستويات الكفاءة والجاهزية السادة الحضور إن الاستثمار في الأمن هو الركيزة الأساسية لنمو الاقتصاد ولتعزيز الاستقرار في ظل التحديات التي تواجه المنطقة والعالم وتلعب التكنولوجيا الحديثة دورا مؤثرا في هذا المجال لقد كان النهج الإصلاحي لجلالة الملك متقدما في طرحه ورائدا في فلسفته عندما وضع قبل عقدين من الزمن التطور التكنولوجي كأحد مصادر التقدم الوطني 
وكرافد أساسي في رؤية البحرين الاقتصادية 2030 وجعلته قوة دفاع البحرين في مقدمة أولوياتها بالفعل قطعنا شوطا مهما في ميادين الابتكار والحوسبة السحابية والتحول الرقمي لدعم الاقتصاد الذكي وتوفير المزيد من فرص العمل وتنويع مصادر الدخل الوطني ويأتي التوجيه الملكي السامي بأن تباشر الحكومة وضع خطة شاملة للتعامل مع متطلبات الاقتصاد الرقمي بتبني وتوظيف تقنيات الذكاء الاصطناعي في القطاعات الانتاجية والخدمية تأكيدا على أن المواطن هو الغاية ومن الأهمية أن ينعكس كل تطور على تعزيز مستوى معيشته وضمان أمنه ورفاهيته ويسعدني شخصيا التفاعل الكبير مع جائزة ناصر بن حمد للابتكار العسكري لتحفيز وتعزيز الإبداع العسكري وتبني أفكار الموهوبين والمتميزين عن طريق بيئة تنافسية للارتقاء بالثقافة والابتكار وأنتهز هذه الفرصة لأتوجه بالشكر الجزيل للأخ العزيز سمو الشيخ خالد بن حمد آل خليفة لمبادراته الملهمة في هذا المضمار ومنها إطلاق مسابقة للابتكار في الذكاء الاصطناعي وتدشين أكاديمية الذكاء الاصطناعي لدعم مخرجات التعليم الوطني ولا شك أن هذه الخطوات وغيرها تستكمل الجهود الرامية إلى أن تكون مملكة البحرين مركز إنتاج وتصدير التكنولوجيا العسكرية وقاعدة ملائمة لصناعات عالية التقنية والجودة عبر شراكات ممتدة ومجدية ومع احتفالنا هذا العام بحلول الذكرى المئوية للتعليم الشرطي والبلدي والعمل نطمح لمزيد من الاستثمار في المعرفة لا سيما مع توافر كوادر بشرية مؤهلة وبنى تحتية واتصالية حديثة وخدمات مميزة للأعمال وتسهيلات أخرى وأؤكد من هذا المنبر بأننا سنمضي في السباق التقني بكل عزيمة ولن نتخلف عن الركب بل سنكون في المقدمة كدولة بازغة على المستوى التكنولوجي تدعمها مؤشرات دولية مبشرة وأود في هذه المناسبة أيضا أن أحيي الخطوات الناجحة للأشقاء في المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة في مجال توطين تكنولوجيا الصناعات العسكرية أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة إن مملكة البحرين بقيادة جلالة عاهل البلاد المفدة دولة تعايش وسلام وتدعم مساعي إنهاء أزمات الإقليم والعالم بشكل شامل ومستدام وفي الوقت ذاته لا نقبل المساومة على مبادئنا وثوابتنا وسنبقى سدا منيعا ضد الإرهاب ومحاولات تقويض أسس الاستقرار الأقليمي ومنع نشر التطرف والتعصب وكمواطن من أهل البحرين الكرام أعتز بأن أكون جميعا تحت راية الوطن الخفاقة فلا مكان لفكر متعصب ولا مجال لفرقة أو تحزب كما آمل أن يكون خليجنا خليج الأمل والفرص والتقدم لا خليج التوتر والنزاع وختاما أتطلع باهتمام بالغ إلى حواراتكم وتوصياتكم القيمة وما تحمله من رؤى عميقة وإسهامات بناءة كما أشكر كل من شارك في الإعداد والتنظيم الرفيع متمنيا للجميع التوفيق والسداد حفظ الله مملكة البحرين وأدام دورها موصولا ومؤثرا ورائدا بفضل حكمة قائدها المعظم ووفاء شعبها الكريم شكرا لكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
After that, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat and the official speaker at Bidik, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronizing the event. He stressed the importance of the event and all the officials it gathers to exchange expertise to tackle the challenges facing the region and the world. He also expressed appreciation to the BDF Commander in Chief for his support to the conference. He praised the results of the first edition of Bidik and expressed keenness to further continue on the march of progress in the second edition to achieve peace, cooperation and prosperity. He highlighted the role of technology in achieving stability and progress, as well as achieving sustainable development, in addition to combating terrorism. He stressed that the role of Bidik in achieving the desired goals overcomes all challenges and benefits from the various experiences of the participating countries to enrich innovation and creativity. He praised the reform project of His Majesty the King and its role in meeting the needs, building a better future, and enhancing the pillars of the modern state. He praised the directives of His Majesty the King in setting up the necessary regulations, attracting investment to cope with the recent developments, and supporting the march of the digital transformation in which will lead to meeting the goals of the Economic Vision 2030. He praised the statement of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince regarding encouraging innovation to enhance the principles of competitiveness, sustainability and justice. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed pointed out that the kingdom is progressing in the field of technology, artificial intelligence and preparing a highly capable cadre. He expressed pride in Dar Assad being a vital partner in organizing such events that focuses on how to overcome challenges and achieve peace and coexistence. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his valuable directives and his support to this high-profile event. After that, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of Saudi Arabia, General Fayyad bin Hamad al Rawili, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks for the invitation and praised the success of Biden. 2019. He stressed that the human capital in the Middle East are essential to support the economy of the region in addition to creating job opportunities. He pointed out to the conflicts in the Middle East and the threat of the terrorist organizations, which requires the international community to put an end to this crisis. He expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed for their efforts in organizing this successful event. The event was attended by a number of higher level figures from Bahrain and the world. On the sidelines of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference BIDIC, the Middle East Military Technology Conference MEMTEC officially kicks off its activities in the presence of a number of key regional and global players in the field of defense. More in this report with Mohammed Shaban. Defense and military technology experts have been flocking to Bahrain from all over the globe to take part in one of the biggest military and defense exhibitions in the region. Alongside the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition, now in its second edition, the country is hosting the Middle East Military Technology Conference, dubbed MEMTEC, a gathering that aims to discuss the latest in defense and military advancements. First of all, to understand where industry is going, because in reality, industry is always reacting to operational needs. So if you monitor where industry is going, you get a, a pretty good idea what uh, the needs are around the world and what uh, the, the future trends will be. MemTech has a number of topics on its agenda, ranging from issues related to the current status and future of military technology to cyber defense strategies, the impact of artificial intelligence and the development of simulation models, and relations to regional conflicts and future of the industry in the countries of the region. It is our opportunity that we stay in this event, which really aim high for the forces in the region and they make a, a, a strong cooperation between the, the GCC country and the other world, what they got in the, in the near future and the long future. 
The two-day conference also aims to highlight the global developments that will reshape the geopolitical situation in the region, along with different national strategies and the discussion of future plans in the industry. Oh, it is so important uh, because this is a quite an extremely important region and uh, for Italy it's a pleasure and an honor to be here because we have a strong cooperation with the, with the, with Bahrain and with a number of the nations uh, in, in, this, in this part of the world. This is so important because to cooperate for Italy means uh, to spread and to help the other nation to maintain a peace, security and stability. Tonight, Bahrain marks the kickoff of this international conference and exhibition here in Manama, becoming a destination for decision makers and key figures from the industry from all around the globe. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs at National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the international conference and exhibition on chemistry in industry held as part of BIDEC. His Highness affirmed that the tremendous progress in the military defense sector was evident during BIDEC, which is supported and patronized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that technological progress and expertise in modern technological solutions is one of the highlights of this year. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the conference comes at a crucial time and emphasizes its comprehensiveness and objectivity in addressing technical issues, as well as the strategic vision of the modern international defense sector in the presence of high-level decision makers, officials and experts in this field. His Highness highlighted that the conference witnesses a wide international participation from 60 countries and more than 200 leading defense companies. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the GCC Secretary General Abdul Latif Al Zayani on the sidelines of BIDEC. His Highness discussed a number of topics of mutual interest and affirmed the importance of exchanging ideas and opinions between officials in light of the current situation in the Middle East. He also noted the importance of presenting the views of the parties living in these geographical areas and affirming their follow-up of the military developments surrounding them. For his part, the GCC Secretary General expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the reception and affirmed that BIDEC is an opportunity to meet with experts to exchange expertise. He also praised the level of the exhibition and the conference and the modern and advanced military equipment provided by the exhibiting companies. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, during the Baidic exhibition. His Highness affirmed the importance of the presence of commercial and industrial figures at the exhibition, discussed with him a number of topics, among which were the latest developments of current affairs and hailed the efforts of Nas. For his part, Nas expressed gratitude for His Highness's reception and hailed the organizational efforts that have made BIDIC a success and said that significant progress has been made as evidenced by the attendance of a number of high-level decision makers from around the globe. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met the commander of the 5th U.S. Fleet, James Malloy, the sales manager of the French forces in the Middle East and Africa, Brigadier Engineer Stephen, the Secretary General of the Islamic Military Counter Terrorism Coalition, Major General Pilot Mohammed Saeed Al Maghidi, and the Assistant of Armament at the Italian Forces,
Vice Admiral Dario Dacuming in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Italian Ambassador to Bahrain, Domenico Pilato. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted the necessity for exchanging ideas and points of view between officials in light of the situation in the region. His Highness discussed a number of topics of joint interest with the guests and asserted the importance of presence of officials in the commercial, industrial, military and civil sectors. For their part, the military officials thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the warm welcome and noted that Baidik is an opportunity to meet experts in one place to exchange expertise. Bahrain continues to play a pivotal role in supporting stability of the region and the world by shedding light on maritime, air and land security and safety issues in its second edition of Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference BITEC. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain utilizes its important geostrategic position and continues to play its role in maintaining peace and stability of the region by hosting BIDEC, which serves as the right platform to boost regional as well as international military cooperation to draw up new policies in light with the rapidly changing security architecture in the region. Support from our allies, from our friends around the world, we have uh, delegations from more than 48 countries that came to Baidik um, and we have so much of those experts who came to Bahrain and spoke in the Memtek, which is our uh, conference and uh, we had a theme that speaking about technologies and modern warfare so we have uh, the best of the best of the people come here share our information look at our equipment and technologies and uh, I believe that this will only uh, serve us good and for the stability and for the defense of the region. Alongside BIDEC, the Middle East Military Technology Conference focuses on regional and international security and stability and military technology. Discussions during the conference address the current situations and threats to nations. The uh, Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference in its uh, second edition uh, is a contribution to regional uh, security and, and stability in the sense that uh, BIDEC as an international exhibition uh, provides uh, a uh, tri-service uh, platform uh, showcasing the uh, latest technologies, uh, both air, sea and, uh, and land. We believe that uh, showcasing the latest technology is a necessity to uh, secure uh, the stability of the region and to contribute uh, to uh, the stability of the Gulf and the, and the wider Middle East. From all over the world, you know, there are many uh, exhibitors. So I uh, congratulate the Kingdom of Bahrain for this you know, successful exhibition. And I hope that uh, this exhibition will contribute to uh, peace and stability uh, in this region, in this vital region, uh, and also uh, the peace of stability of the world, entire world as well. An important part of our very strong strategic partnership with the United States and Bahrain uh, the cooperation we have on defense and security matters. There are some very, very important uh, systems that are currently underway between the two countries, the F-16 uh, aircraft, the AH-1Z Cobra helicopter, uh, the Patriot uh, missile defense systems, all of which are uh, systems that will be acquired by the Bahrain military and provide greater security for Bahrain and also collective security along with the United States. Bahrain is at the forefront of organizing important events that contribute to stability of the region and the world. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was at forefront to bid farewell to Chechen President Ramadan Ahmad Khadirov and his accompanying delegation after the President concluded his visit, where he met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and attended the second edition of BIDEC. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the continuous development between the two countries and praised the achievements and partnerships between the two sides that serve the interests of both countries.